Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And I believe in giving the Lord due whenever, uh, well, you know, the Lord deserves due uh, uh, and credit and praise every day. And, uh, you know, I believe also with giving the devil his dues, all the horrible things that have been happening lately and all the things that uh, has been going on in our country and uh, city and um, different things. Um, the devil is truly out and trying to destroy people. And But the good news is the Bible says that at the name of Jesus, Satan trembles. All you have to do is say Jesus and Satan trembles. And I like to do it sometimes just to give him a seizure. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll scream Jesus just to give him a little seizure because uh, it's uh, important that we stay on top and we stay focused on what really matters. I have a praise report, and that's all this. This, this isn't a sermon or anything. And if I sound a little sluggish or down, it's just because I'm exhausted. It is hot out there. I mean, very hot. And the Bible even says in the last days that it would burn hot as an oven. And I believe that uh, I could cook a steak on my car. But, uh, anyway, along with my praise report, uh, for many years now, um, I don't know, maybe 10, something like that, I was, uh, diagnosed with some liver failure, and, uh, liver disease, liver failure, sort of, kind of thing. And, uh, enzymes, the boy's been through the roof, and one liver doctor to another, and, uh, so it's, uh, you know, it, it, it hurts from time to time, I mean, you get physical pain, it causes a lot of other issues, and, uh, constant blood draws, and uh, different other things, and, um, I had uh, the liver disease, and then, um, I'm sorry, my voice is a little sluggish, I'm just really tired, <laughs> that's all it is, uh, I'm just tired, and the heat just drained me, anyway, um, I knew I had the liver disease for many years, and, uh, after some of the bad things happened in my life, and I turned on the Lord, turned against the Lord, I uh, took to, you know, the bottle, and uh, that didn't really help. <laughs> you know, it, it's not a good idea to drink when you have a bad liver to begin with. It, it's not smart. And anyway, uh, I got my latest blood draw back today, and um, I was nervous. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I was, I was really worried because of the coloring of my eyes and different things. But um, when I read, uh, they have an app. They send y'all. Everything's technical today. They had an app. They have an app, and uh, anyway. It, uh, I opened it up, and when I read it, I was just taken back because it said, his words were, um, I don't think I've ever seen his liver enzymes so good. Um, I don't think I've ever seen them this low. I mean, everything is in range, and everything just looks good. And I, I was so, and, you know, kind of, flabbergasted at the moment I was I was just uh, you know an, in awe and I was sitting there thinking God is healing my liver and at the same time I'm sitting there thinking Lord I haven't done anything to deserve this I mean if anything I've deserved you know to 
a good swift kick in the hind quarters. I mean, if anything, but he's so good to me, and, and he's healing, literally healing my liver, and I believe that. Yesterday, um, uh, when I went to go get the blood draw, um, I got halfway home. My wife called and said, can you stop by the store and uh, pick me something up? And I said, yeah. And um, it's a big store, and I thought I was, I haven't been in it very much, but uh, I thought I was headed in the right direction. Turns out it was like 50 miles the other direction and then around a corner to get what she had wanted and uh, for an old crippled man that was pretty rough so by the time I got back to the register um, I was sitting there thinking Lord I'm coming home and but uh, there was a young man that stopped me uh, as I was on my way to the register and he said can I pray for you? And I said, sure. Uh, anybody, anytime anybody wants to pray for me, that's wonderful. And we sat there in the middle of this um, store, and he just prayed for me. And uh, then today, my uh, test came back great. So I think, uh, you know, the Lord hears the prayer of the righteous, and I believe God is doing wonderful and mighty things for his people you know the devil may be out there as a roaring lying lion seeking whom he may devour but what we forget is the lord is sitting in heaven above working and still healing and moving upon um his people and taking care of his people in ways that we don't even realize i mean things that he does for us that we don't give him credit for it. And it's wonderful to be able to say that the Lord is mindful enough of me to even take... I mean, I'm humbled because I'm sitting there thinking... Uh, I'm just an old uh, red... You know, an old hillbilly. My wife always... I says you're not country you you're a hillbilly uh, um, anyway uh, I'm just no hillbilly you know uh, why is God mindful of me uh, why would he take the time to heal me uh, it's humbling but he loves us so much and he uh, cares so much about each and every person and I know I've said it before but uh, he loves us so much that he counts in numbers not just counts but he can num numbers the hairs on our head and that means he can point to hair number 24 and there it is you know uh, number them that's amazing and uh, I'm making his job a lot easier because uh, I ain't got much hair going for me anymore I love each and every one of you and I'm sorry I'm just exhausted um, but I wanted to praise the Lord thank God for what he's doing I want to be able to you know share the good news God is healing his people God is still upon the throne you hear so many bad so much bad news every day you, um, I've always said it, if you want to hear something bad news, turn on uh, CNN or turn on the TV, you know, for the late late news, and you can be depressed all you want because they will bring you down. There is never anything good and never anything uplifting, hardly, on these, um, 
on the news programs because everything is always in such a downer tone and downer mood and it seems like people want that more than they want the uplifting and encouragement stuff anymore but let me tell you god is the most uplifting and encouraging thing that has ever happened to this world and he is still sitting upon the throne making intercession for his people he said it this way you have not because you ask not You wonder why you don't have healing or you don't have these things in your life. Not specifically healing or, you know, different things that you need. I didn't say won't need. Um, he said you have not because you ask not. And when you ask, you ask amiss. It means deep down in your heart, you're... you're professing it with your mouth you're saying lord please do this for me but in your heart you're really saying it's not going to happen anyway so i got to figure something out where's the point where we just hand over our situation to god and say lord it's in your hands i can't do anything about it anymore i've done everything i could do i've tried i've tried to you know uh, figure it out i've tried to um sit down and map it out and make everything work and it's not i can't figure anything out lord it's in your hands now 100 percent and that's when he said you have not because you ask not that simple god bless each and every one of you i love you and i hope you have a wonderful uh week wonderful day what's left of it um and uh Remember, praise the Lord. Give him all the glory and honor for everything he does. And um, it's a privilege, a privilege to be called a saint of God. Don't ever forget that. Don't forget to read your scripture, one scripture a day. Um, that's my challenge to you. Um, I challenge you. To read at least one scripture a day doesn't matter what it could be random scriptures you know out of different uh, books of the Bible but one scripture a day I, I, I want you to do that and um, that's my challenge to you God bless you I love each and every one of you and remember all you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord anytime any place and he is right there for you